Welcome back, family. We have a huge day ahead of us today. And uh, wow, all I can say is wow. Did you see the collapse of crypto last night when all the things are happening over in the Middle East and it, boom, down it comes. And I'm like, why can't the markets be open? ETHE was ready to be bought like a champ. I couldn't do it because the markets were closed. But today is the having event and major news out there. And I'm talking huge news that I'm releasing in this video. It's next level stuff. I'm so pumped. Oh, for long time watchers, you guys know I talked about this bread recipe. You know what I have come up with with my own indicator, my strategy, everything. It is money. I proved it on the, the daily live streams that we were doing when we were trading. This thing's next level. And uh, of course, the big announcement, we are live. We have done it. We have taken everything that I do and put it into uh, the Stockmo Discord. And that link is the first link down below. And check this out. So say you want to go ahead and you want to look up, oh, I don't know. Let's go ahead and look up Tesla. But you pick the indicator here, put in Tesla, hit enter. Let the stock mo bread bot do its thing and check this out, family. Boom. My chart pops up, tells you exactly what's going on. And once you get the bearish signal, boom, down it goes. Uh, bearish signal, down it goes. Mixed signal, that's okay. It's going to happen. You got to watch. Uh, and then you just go moving forward and make that money. And I absolutely love this. You can come on here, put it in, pick the ticker, pick your stock, Bank of America, boom, pull it up, Bank of America. Uh, we'll let the bot do its thing as it pulls it up, bang. Got a sell signal, down it comes. You would have made bank off of that. Uh, and that's the beauty of these. You can continue to take advantage. So for everybody out there who's like, you always have to ask them, like, hey, give me the chart, give me the chart. Well, good news. We have taken it all with the, the indicators, everything. Put it in one program. We had a programmers working on it with Mrs. Mo. Next level stuff. And now you can come in here. Here's Ethereum. Let's pull up Ethereum. And you can go ahead and pull up the bot. The bot does it all for you. So no longer do you have to come in here and ask. And what does the bot say? You got to sell here. It drops. You got to buy here. It goes up. Sell here. It drops. You get the signals, and it says right here, you get the signal, oversold. That's a green, that's a good news, and it did exactly that. You get the red signal here, uh-oh, right here, red signal, down it goes, all the way down. So it gives you the signals, and this is next level stuff. So this has been months in the working, and I'm pumped. And it's on the best day ever, which is the halving. So we get the halving of Bitcoin, the stock mo bread bot is now live in the Discord for premium members. So if you guys wanna come over, join, we got this golden sweeps, we got it all. This was the next big thing, but the other thing I told you, we look at the golden sweeps. What's the big money doing? What do you guys see today? Red, red, red. What are they doing? Nvidia put, Nvidia put, Nvidia put. Oh boy, put, 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 all Nvidia puts, all Nvidia puts, everything Nvidia puts. Yesterday, ooh, Nvidia call, uh, call option, call option. Not today, they are jumping on like there's no tomorrow. And so you get you get access to this. You get the technical screeners. You get it all. This is going to be the finest Discord you're going to be able to be a part of. And I'm telling you this, get in now before the next price increase because we got other big things coming shortly for members. So you're grandfathered in if you are in. And if you haven't done it, you can join here on YouTube as a premium member. So if you click the join button down below, Join as a premium member, you get access to the Discord, plus a lot of other things here on YouTube. Highly recommend joining today, either with the Patreon or the uh, YouTube link. And that leads us into the halving. Take, take a look at this. So the halving's coming up right now as we speak. Countdown clock here at this place, five hours, 57 minutes. Family, we're there. Is it a sell the news kind of event or what is it, Mo? And that's why we dig into it, all right? And so let's... Let's pull up some things. And I will say this, I bought, uh, I should let everybody know the small account challenge. If you haven't done it, I got the small account challenge. I bought BAC, you know, so here you go. Why'd you buy BAC? One, I like financials during, during the horrible time out there, which we seem to be facing right now. And we know if we get into a recession, which the Fed is going to cause, there's no doubt in my mind, it's not if, but when. I think probably Q4, uh, the latest data, GDP solid. 
I think you won't have a downturn until Q4 into Q1. It might even be Q1 of 2025 because everybody's still spending, 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 government spending, 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 more money's being spent. Bills are trying to get through uh, Congress that are going to spend more money. So I think we have enough catalysts to keep the economy out of a recession until Q4 or Q1 of next year. Why? Student loan debt, variable rates are taking effect longer. The Fed keeps things longer, which absolutely crushes things. I think the full effect of them are going to hit Q4, Q1. And so I don't think it happens before October. I think November, December will be the first months. And then it gets ugly January, February, March after Christmas this year. I think it just absolutely gets ugly. Uh, that's my opinion on it. And so at this point, I have been making moves today. And I bought BAC for the small account challenge. I like it bouncing off the 50 EMA. Love it. Bounced off, got down to Bollinger Band, broke the Bollinger Band, came up just as expected, confirmed back above the 50. That's what I wanted. Ran big today. And I like it. So I think we're going to retest those highs back up there in the, the high 30s. We're down here in the mid 30s. And that's where I see it going. Great, great company. I like what I'm seeing. Uh, you guys can let me know. You guys can let me know. BAC, we'll pull up BAC. Yeah, 12 PE right now, 2.6% dividend. It's a solid value play for an un, I will say an uninspiring time right now out there. So the small account challenge, if you haven't done it, get over there. That's where you get the, the stocks over here at Moomoo. If you guys haven't done it, you can sign up down below, put a hundred bucks in and get those free seven free stocks. And actually it's not seven anymore. We, I just talked to Moomoo and the best news is for those who click on my link below, you get 10 fractional shares now, not seven. So they just changed it for me and they said, hey, we're gonna help out your viewers. There you go. So if you haven't done it, put a hundred bucks in, 10 fractional shares now. And that's awesome. <laughs> that's just easy money. All right, now, where are we going with the having, Mo? What's going on? This is what I kind of want to talk about a little bit. The having's here. And more importantly, did you guys see the fear and greed index? You guys know how I, I treat this. I told you, if you sell up here at the extreme greed, you're going to be happy. If you buy at the extreme fear, you're going to be happy. If you are buying at the extreme greed, you're not going to be happy. If you're selling here a year later, most likely you're not going to be happy. This is when everybody has already sold everything. And you get in that extreme over, just change fear to uh, buy, change greed to sell. So you get to extreme, you get extreme buy right here. Buy, extreme buy, because you get down close to zero, that means everything's just falling apart. It's a good time to buy solid companies. Uh, neutral, just hold. Greed is kind of, eh, start taking a little bit of profit. Extreme is like, hey, you you need to take as, many, as much profit as you can, or at least buy some put options as protection. So now we're moving into the extreme fear. I absolutely believe we'll get there. Uh, I made some changes today, which I shared over at the Patreon, of course. Uh, look at this, just dropping. Everything, fear, 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 wow. Straight, this, this is weird because it, one is neutral. And so this saying extreme fear is weird because one is considered, a ratio above one is bearish. We're not above one yet. We're, we are way down extreme bullish. We should be like just neutral here. So if this goes way up, that's a different story. This is how bullish it's been, uh, crazy. Market volatility, extreme fear. You can see this. The VIX is up. I, who called that? I did. Last week in March, I told you it'd get up close to 20 by the end of the April. Uh, difference of 20 days, stock and bond returns, extreme fear, extreme greed still on the junk bond. That's because the Treasury's not going to, or the Fed's not doing anything, man. The Fed's going to hold things higher for longer. And therefore, that stays the same. So that's some of the things we're looking at. But the big thing, like I said, the having is going to affect everything. So I've been buying what i'm buying which i'm watching like ethereum right now i wanted to buy here uh, i wanted to buy here so bad when i saw this drop down to the 2800s it finally broke the 2900 i wanted i wanted to pull the trigger so bad but i'm buying ethe you can only buy it in open hours everything that happens always happens in the after hours on the weekend you notice that you ever notice that when the stock market's open this climbs Weird. Look at it. Uh, we're going to stay right here until uh, we're getting 6.30. When everybody's 6 o'clock at 6.30, up it goes. And it's and when the, the U.S. market allows people to buy, they buy. Uh, I got to tell you. So I am continuing to buy ETH, though, to let everybody know. And I will tell you, 
that I was out there making purchases on this and I will continue to make purchases on it to make sure I'm taking advantage of what I think is going to happen. And what I think is going to happen is going to be major. Why? Well, go back and look. Everybody thought the end of the world was coming. And yet it bounced back within hours. How strong is Ethereum? And it blows through a lot of that leveraging and people get stop losses, margin calls, everything. And it and all of a sudden bounces back up to where it was. In other words, you just shook the tree and a lot of pressure has been relieved again. Maybe not a ton, but a lot of it was. Okay, we had a good amount of pressure just got relieved. So I would argue at this point, Ethereum has a stronger base now. We deleveraged a little bit here. I'm not sure how much people jump back in and stuff, but it happened. And now we have this price. Now I'm 500 under roughly what I sold at. So me buying anything in this range is solid. My goal was to sell, buy low, which I did, sell high, which I, am, I already did, and now buy back in at a lower price. Now, the million dollar question everyone keeps asking is, Mo, what's the best price to buy, sell, all of it for Ethereum? And I'm gonna answer you today. So I sold, once we got up here, this RSI got way overbought. I was uncomfortable, I don't wanna be in it, so I sold. And I may have sold a little early, and it ran up a little bit more, but my goal was to take advantage of it, have it drop back down below where I bought it. It did, it only took a couple days, and then buy back in once it dropped 10% or more, slowly and surely. Uh, and so I sold it 35.50 up to 36 range. And so at that range, I'm looking for basically $350 off. So 3,200 or under is what I wanted to start buying in at. That's what I was waiting for. Now, people ask me, what's the best range that you absolutely love buying at? And I'm gonna answer that question today. So based on the latest just pump, and you can see the base down here just pumped up. I was waiting for a normal 50 to 61.8% drawback. So 31.79 down to 29.64 is what I've been waiting for. And so I wasn't going to DCA strongly until we got into the sweet zone, the Goldilocks zone. Not too hot, not too cold. This is so good and it's perfect. So I have been. And for those following me, you know I have been. You see these, these breakdowns here? They're happening outside of market hours. I cannot take advantage of them. One of these days, we will have a breakdown below during a market day, and then I can take advantage of it. But I can tell you right now, it has not happened. You are forming a very nice, interesting pattern here. And the strength I saw off of the geopolitical concerns last night was crazy good strength. We are back to where we were, if not a little bit above. What's that tell you about the strength of Ethereum? Bitcoin, it's massive. It's massive. The whales jumped in at 2,800 like there was no tomorrow. If you don't see the support coming from the actions out there, I don't know what to tell you. It is massive. And so I feel good at this level. If you can buy anywhere in the 2,900s, in my opinion, you're getting a steal. We have tested one, two, three, four, five times below 29.64, and every single time the candle pushed up before the end of the day. If we broke 29.64, it would get ugly, and that confirmed you are absolutely running down to 26.58. I don't think that's going to happen personally, not especially after all the things that happened over the last week, and yet it's still in this zone. So I bought again today. I continue to buy. And take advantage this week was the biggest week of purchases i have made since selling and so i'm going to continue to buy in here weekly if we get confirmed above 31.79 i'm loading up between 31.79 and 33. i'm not gonna let it get back above where i sold without having a very very big position i am waiting to have a breakdown into the 2,900 or lower category, which we had last night, but I couldn't buy the ETHE. I have to do it during market open. I, I have a huge order ready to go, huge order, but I have to have it happen. And at that point, you're looking at a, a massive order. Uh, so if that happens, that'd be good for me. If not, so be it. So, and I'll continue to DCA through here. Eventually we're gonna break up or down. I think it's gonna break up personally. 
I think it's huge. The halvings here, you got my, I think Ethereum is the best crypto to buy now, bar none. Uh, Bitcoin, I know. Dogecoin, I know. Shiba Inu, I got it. Bitcoin with the spot ETS, the closest I can come to. But a lot of that's priced in, all right? So the actions are happening. You're seeing some net outflows from certain places. You're seeing net inflows. Ethereum is just getting started. So I want to ride that wave up, wave up, take advantage of the discount, and watch it go. So I bought today. I bought today. We can see how it's doing today. How is ETHE doing today? That's what I'm talking about. And you know I did. And it's at an all-time high today, I should say. The, for the day, it's all-time high today. So today, it's the highest it's been since I'm making this. So we start out low. Now we're at the high for the day, which is good because I obviously bought before I made this video. So come up nicely. So that's the kind of gains I'm trying to make. And this is why. So there's a nice discount on this that should evaporate as a spot ETF comes, which would lead to me making an additional 20 something percent on my money uh, on top of whatever Ethereum goes up. So I'm trying to double my money with this and I'm going to continue to buy into it. And that's what I'm doing for those following me over at the Stockmo Discord. You guys are loving life. We got the, we got everything. We got the indicator. People in here using the indicator. You can see it. They're pulling up the charts. You want, they like Apple. You want to see Apple? What's it say about Apple? It said sell right here. All right. And what happens if you hit, if you follow this? Well, boom, down it goes. And, and you can see it's doing the right things. It said right here, here's a sell. What happened? It dropped. What happened here? Buy. What happened? It went up. What happened here? Sell. It went down and it's continuing down. And so if you are interested in that, join as a pre premium member here on YouTube with the join button or come on over to the StockMo Discord today. Use the Patreon link up above. It's next level investing. You want the help? Ah, we got the programs to do it now. You don't even have to ask for somebody to chart your stuff. We got it taken care of. Family, that's the update today. Make sure you let me know what stock you like down in the comments. What do you think about the halving? Are we gonna go up this week or down? I don't know, is it a sell the news or buy the news? Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Hit that like, hit the subscribe, join the Patreon today. Appreciate you stopping by. Let's get out there and crush it.